Here we are in RaceMax Pro. This is the starter car you get when you go into the game. You can be played both online and offline. You get a very good experience offline. You get access to everything except for the ability to watch adverts to see, to get bonuses. And online, you don't get that many commercials or adverts if you don't pay to remove them. So you get a very good experience, I think, in this game. It's a bit of a comp, uh, large size game. It's not extremely large and taking up storage on your device. Of course. And, uh, but the, it's not an overly complex to play either. So, it, and it's fairly easy to advance in the game. Well, I do highly recommend the game. So this is the E-Class Audi TT RS Coupe. Your starter car. I have done a little bit of personalization of it. You do have that option in the game, and it also is quite highly maxed out with regard to upgrades that you can do on the car. Now... How to personalize your car, it's called customization. The button down the bottom there, just the gray part, customization just lit up. And now we've gone into the menu of customization. You get a lot of different colors you can put on your car. Look how I chose this uh, that light bluish type of color. You can change the wheel colors as well and the wheel styles. They're actually called, they're called rims. If you look at the line down below, you, there's all your varieties there. You've got uh, smoke color, which is generated by the tires and your exhaust. You can change that. You've, some cars, you can change the rear wing on it, the window colors, the brake caliper colors, and you can actually change the camber, but I find that makes your car look pretty funny with the few options that are selectable. It's like the colors, everything is pre-selectable. And as for customization, this video is going to concentrate on just doing a very simple decal scheme. It's going to be a series of videos doing very a show displaying some of the other decal schemes I've done as well. You can see some of them in the background there. I do tend to do ones that are symmetrical, and we'll discuss some of the problems that may, you may encounter doing that. I am not going to be demonstrating placing the decals. I am going to do an English voiceover of that, and I will do a race near the end to just show what we can see on the car on a racetrack, or a few racetracks. So I'm going to hit the decal button. It just turned gray. And this is the main menu for the decals. I'm not going to go in and actually move the decals around. You can have a stock car one without any decals on it. You get one free slot to make a decal for each and every car you get. And you get four other slots you can pay for with the game's premium currency, which is not that difficult to earn. Now this view does not show the vehicle very well, so I'm going to hit the camera over here. It also just turned gray as I did before. And now we've got the camera view where I can actually take a little better look at the car without anything in the way except for the ability to actually take a low grain photo of the vehicle we're checking out, which will also put something of the game's icon in one of the corners or watermark in one of the corners of the photo. Now this is a decal scheme that can be done with five decals. It's very simple to do or quite simple to do. Uh, I'm not doing anything really with the hood of the car or putting anything on the back. It's just the sides, and I decided to put a five on the roof. The flame is done with two different decals that have been x symmetried or mirrored from side to side of the car. 
The five and anything with numbers or letters in it cannot unless the actual number or letter is symmetrical cannot be done the same way. They have to be done separately. So all three fives are a separate decal. And the red and yellow oranges are one decal each. So that's five decals. The decals are selectable from various different palettes of decals. You've got uh, letters, numbers, wings, flames, uh, stripes, uh, uh, something called paint, I believe. Um, there's another abstract. I can't remember exactly what it's called. There are a whole slew of them. And you've got some logos you can apply as well. There's, these logos could use a much larger selection than them, actually. So, I chose two flame. I chose a flame. I put it up made roughly the size I wanted it. That's be the yellow-orange one there. I'll, I'll call it yellow for now. And I just sized it and angled it the way I wanted it angled. I project, projected it because when you put a decal onto your vehicle, you get a pre-select of five views of your vehicle. I believe it starts out with, um, might be the, one of the sides. It will be go to, it will, and then go to the other side and then something like, and then the front, like the order of these could be changed. The back and the roof, it actually projects onto the roof this way. And you have to move your decal around. You don't get to see the whole vehicle. It would be better if the game was actually to have you project your decal on when you project from straight down this way. You cannot project decals from below the deck, the level of the car. You cannot project up for some reason. It does create some hazards sometimes. Um, but I, this is just, there. everything is just decaled from all those preset views you can do. You can hit plus when you get there and you add a decal from that direction. And I just did that when I did the flames. I selected flames, sized it. You can angle it if you want it. I don't think I angled it. <coughs> and when I select it, I hit X sync. I believe with mirror, you can also get it to show up on the other side as well. And then I duplicated it. And when I duplicated, I made the other one a dark color to give some contrast. And it also gives the decal just a little bit of a 3D kind of look. And I made the other decal just slightly larger and I offset it. And then I, you can, when you're doing your decal work, you can slide your decals in one behind the other. There are three different ways of moving adjusting your decals when your decal stack when you're in the actual decal menu you can adjust the color or you can go back yeah you can uh, select the center part tap on that twice and that will select that decal and you can adjust the color you've got an x out front to remove that decal and you've got a three lines on the other side other side from the x and you can slide it up and down to put it in behind, such as I could slide that red decal and I could have red flames with yellow outline by just sliding it around on in the decal stack. Now that's the flame portion. It's very simple. It's not the simplest. If you were to do it as one without the outline, it would be the simplest. You could also do like a, a stripe there or paint mark or something like that, or even a wing. Now, the letter's a little awkward, or I should say the number. You can't just put it there and symmetry it. It will not work in any, any way. It always comes out backwards on the other side. So any decal that's, well, got lettering or numbers in it, you're going to have trouble with it. You'd ha you can duplicate it from side to side and then try to adjust it to the same place, but I find it's better to actually do that with a box, a square that you change into the size you want. Usually, instead of a square, you'd use a rectangle. If you're doing multiple letters to do, say, put something like taxi on there or cab or something or police, ambulance, fire. Um, well, you're going to have more, a more 
trouble putting it on there and you'll have to change your square into a rectangle as well and you fit your letters on and you'll have to manually adjust the spaces and you actually the space you fit the square you fit them in will be symmetry so they'll come out looking almost the same on both sides so is what you do what i did with the five is i created that square made the size and shape i wanted then i duplicated that and then you replace that one you just created you turn it into the number or letter you want and you adjust it to fit the square once you've done that if you've projected it straight on you go you get change the projection angle around as i said you get preset values 90 degrees on you add another one you add another five from the this angle here and you make it fit this the the block that you made to fit it in the exact same way so that's how you get symmetry from side to side with letters and numbers and there's also a problem with any other decal such as some of the uh, stripes have lettering in in them you have to do that with them pretty much the same way too you can't uh, you cannot take your stripe and well actually it doesn't really work with stripes with uh lettering lettering or num lettering and lettering or words on the it's best to block them out and try to put another decal on over top of where you just blocked out now as for the five on the top what i did is i created a square again or a line and i put that right down the center of the car because your car it, and since I've got the five lined up this way I just uh, created the right size I wanted I made sure it was in the center of the car by hitting uh, X sync and unsinking it if the square didn't move it was in the center of the car so then I ch changed that into a five like I did with the side of the car and I just made it fit the way I wanted, got the shape I wanted there. You could leave your working decals, like I said, my line there and the square on your decal, decal stack if you like, and just turn the color to completely transparent, or you could hit the X mark and remove that decal. So that's a little bit about how to do a very simple decal scheme on your car. It's much how I did. It's not the other decals you can see in the background there. Now, how about I demonstrate this car out on the track under different lighting conditions. I'm going to do a few short races here and just see what they look like. And you'll be able to see as well. And when you do races with your customized car, not only do you get to use your car while you're offline, you can take it online and all the customizations you have set will go with you when you go online and you'll be able to see other players customization there as well now so i know exactly what i'm going to get when i go into the type of race and i'm going to just do fast cash where the only reward you get is cash you don't get any any of the other bonus bonuses or better things than cash and I get to select whichever style of race I want to go in through. I think since they're fairly short, I'm going to do all three style of races here. And I have to use one of my fuels that I have a maximum amount of 12 to use. You get 10 unless you pay for additional ones.
Oh, that's one of the street style races. Street style races. They do show up in various type, different environments, like on the coast we just did, the desert and in the city, and what looks to be what's in the background there, a Japanese town and such, which goes both in city and out. So let's just do another style of race here where you get to see the car from a different angle. We'll do a short bit thing here. Things are actually pretty easy in the game in general once, once you get past uh, the first few days of playing the game. You learn quite a bit there. And well, we're at it. Let's just try to start a drag race. playing offline so there's no chance of my competition having any stylized and personalization in it. They're just plain box. Hopefully there were enough views in that race to see that the decals do change and the color of the car changes a little bit depending on the lighting. So if you enjoyed my video, this will be a series of videos and some quite decal bit uh, schemes and some a little more complex. So do check the other videos out if you're interested. <laughs>